To play emulators on your Xbox One, you will need the following. Access to the internet via your computer, storage space on your OneDrive account, ROMs of your choosing, and last but not least, internet access via your Xbox One. When your ROMs are accumulated, we will begin. But please be aware that only the following ROM extensions are currently supported and must be in their unzip format to work correctly. .SMC for Super Nintendo, .NES for Nintendo Entertainment System, .GBA for Game Boy Advance, .GBC for Game Boy Color, .GB for Original Game Boy, and finally, .Gen, .Bin, or .SMD for Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive. With your ROMs downloaded, you must log into your OneDrive account, and when there, create a folder called ROMs and enter it. As you can see, I already have a Mega Drive ROMs folder, NES ROMs folder, and SNES ROMs folder already copied over for the purpose of this tutorial. It might take you some time to copy over your own ROMs, but when done, you need to turn your attention to your Xbox One. On your Xbox, navigate to the Edge app from within My Games and Apps, and when open, type in the following URL, nestbox.itch.io slash x1. It's worth favouriting this address for future use. Page loaded, you use the left thumbstick to navigate the cursor to within the Nestbox emulator on screen and press A as instructed to start. If it's your first time, you must grant Nestbox permission to access your files. Then open ROM from OneDrive and navigate to your desired ROM to play it. Alternatively, you could also click on Setup Gamepad in the Nestbox's main menu to view the controls. Select as the left bumper, start the right bumper, A is A, B is B. X is X, Y is Y, L the left trigger, and R the right trigger. Holding the left bumper and the right bumper simultaneously within a game will bring you out an alternative menu where the game can be resumed, saved, reset, or you can exit back out to the main menu. 